Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to wire a telephone jack in a new construction house. Brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com Now we're using a Cat5e wire. You can use regular Cat5 or you can use Cat5e. And as you can see that wire drills right through the top plate. This is a, I think it's a 2x8 top plate. A lot of top plates are only 2x4 but this is a bigger one. And uh, the person who drilled this hole chose to use what appears to be a 5 8 inch auger bit, maybe a half inch auger bit. That hole's a little bit bigger than you need. Um, but regardless, it just goes through the top plate and then it goes over the trusses back to a central spot, which is a cable distribution box. And then the box that we've used here that is a single gang structured wire low voltage box. There's no back uh, you know, plate. It's different than an electrical box. That's an electrical box that's fully enclosed. And then just drop that Cat5 right down in here and uh, wind up pushing the excess back up inside the wall a little bit. And then I recommend that you take uh, maybe newspaper and stuff it in here. So in other words, once this cable is in the wall, now we'll we'll come back and cut all this excess off. We're right in front of we're we're a couple days ahead of buttoning this job up for insulation and sheetrock, but we wanted to get this video out to you before all that mess was in place. So anyway, <clears throat> once that wire, what I would wind up doing is this wire. I'd let it come all the way down to this bottom plate, and then I cut it off. That's that's enough uh, wire for you to work with. And then I take maybe some newspaper or one of those plastic grocery bags you get at the grocery store and just stuff it in here. And it only takes a second. But what happens is, is when the sheet rockers come in, you know they're gonna they're gonna spray their texture over the sheet rock, which that texture is gonna get up in here. It gets all over the wire. The other thing is, then after that texturing is done, then they're gonna come in with paint. You know, maybe one or two coats depending on the primer process. And then, so now you got the texture sprayed on here, you've got some primer sprayed on here, and then you got some paint sprayed on here. Well, that gets all over your wire. And, uh, you know, if you wind up trimming this out, if you wind up finishing this plate out, after, let's say, you have beautiful brand new carpeting put in, well, all that stuff, the plaster, the paint, all rubs off this wire jacket really easy and falls into your carpet. So take an extra minute and uh, you know, take some blue painters tape and paint the inside. Tape the inside. Don't tape it on the outside because that's hard to get off later on. Or stuff a plastic bag in there from the grocery store, or stuff a wad of newspaper in there. Just do it. It's worth. It pays dividends. So anyway, that's it for uh, this phone line. By the way, goes all the way back to cable distribution box. So let me show you. Right through the attic like that. It just kind of lays up there. You know, normally we like to put up what's called a J hook, or we'll staple it. But this is a uh, once once this house is done, nobody's going to move in this part of the attic. So it just lays, and you'll notice it's crossing the high voltage Romex at, at uh, a non-parallel way. And then it comes across right here, all the way, all the way down, and it winds up inside that box. So it's home run. We call it home run. Home run into that box. Hey, that's the end of this video for how to run a phone jack in a house under construction. Please subscribe to our channel, and there are more videos on this topic of wiring a house. Thanks, and have a great day. Brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com. For more information on this topic or other topics pertaining to home electronics, visit the website by clicking the link located directly below this video.